Hi. Welcome to my second card in the sneak peek of the holiday catalog for 2018. Um, today I'm going to show you a card from the Pleasant Pheasants um, stamp set. And actually I bought the stamp set because of the pheasants. Um, because I've got some scrapbook scrapbooking to do from some pictures um, when we went to Scotland last year. Um, and you know, otherwise known as grouse. Um, when my daughter, we stopped several times along the side of the road. Of course, it's not as dangerous as it sounds because we were often the only people that we would see for hours. Um, but we have some great pictures. Um, and so I wanted the stamps for this. Um, but I'm not going to use those today. Um, I'm going to make a Thanksgiving card. So I'm going to um, pull out some fun elements. I'm going to use the... Um, Buffalo check, which I've used a couple of times on some cards already on YouTube that weren't part of my sneak peek week, but I'm going to use those. I'm going to use this pretty, pretty, pretty ribbon. I don't know if it's, you're going to be able to really see it as much um, on camera as to see how beautiful it is in person. It is called Reversible Ribbon. I know that's not the whole name. It says that on one side. It's called Mary Merlot and Copper. Hmm. It says that on one side, so I guess it's Mary Merlot and Cop Copper. And then on the other side, it says a reversible ribbon. But it is Mary Merlot and Copper. So that's the basis for my card. Um, and then, you know, when you do a class, and you have a lot of people coming, um, you have to vary the techniques that you use because I can't do blends on everything because I don't have enough blends to go around. So I'm going to use... Um, our stamp and write markers to um, watercolor this. So I've got a base of gray granite. It's going to be the base of the card. So there's going to be some um, old style retro techniques going on here because we're going to go back to coloring with the stamp and writes. I love the blends, but I'm going to use the little, not the teensy tiny. I thought about the teensy tiny. There's some teensy tiny images in this. If you've not seen the catalog or if you really haven't paid attention, because it's called pheasant and the pheasants are large. So you kind of notice those images when you flip through, but it's got these teensy tiny little pumpkins and these teensy tiny little leaves. And I did fiddle with those a little bit, but I'm going to the medium sized image and I'm going to use the pumpkins. So the blends would almost kind of overwhelm that anyways so it works out well but I'm going to start with the buffalo check in Mary Merlot um, and you know when I use my stamp pad if you haven't seen me yet ink this up I'm not going to shove it all the way in because normally I don't shove my stamps in at all my stamp pads so mine don't shove very well because they haven't been shoved in much I'm going to ink it this way And you really don't have to ink up the whole thing. In fact, I played around because first um, I inked it. I'm going to use this um, shimmer paint, which that's retro because I don't know how many years ago we had it, but we have had it before. In fact, I made my husband go out in the garage. I still have a couple of um, totes of retired stuff that I've not gotten rid of out there. And I feel like I still have the shimmer paints out there somewhere. And I am 95% certain I still have shimmer paints somewhere in the shed, in the attic, somewhere. So I made him go search before I ordered them. He said that I don't have them. So maybe I don't. I feel like I do. But um, I did ink this up with that. and if, So when I did that, I kind of sectioned off the washi tape so I didn't waste paint. But then I tried this method and I liked the look of this better but I'm going to show you here. So I'm going to lay that down and, you know, wasting that much ink was too much trouble. I've got some scrap paper. I'm going to lay that down here. So this is color on color. So I've got Mary Merlot ink and Mary Merlot cardstock. I did a lot of um, postage today. If you have needed a catalog, if you won something recently, if you had a thank you gift coming, um, I did all that. I can't find any of my snips. I own like 10 pairs of snips and my office is kind of messy right now with all of the different projects I have going on. I couldn't find a snip anywhere. So I'm 
see retro crafting rubber scissors they're not the best scissors that i have because they need to be sharpened but we're using them so this is it says water <laughs> obviously not water i wasn't afraid i would mistake it with water this is some rubbing alcohol um that i poured in here and then a cup just a couple drops of the shimmer paint so you shake that up I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this for a while we're gonna hope for it because I'm not quite sure what angle to do this at I'm gonna put it up here close to the camera so these stampin misters you know I, I've used them recently I've shown you always with water um, and I put the hand sanitizer in to show you how to clean your blocks but the alcohol makes it dry quickly so I've just spritzed some of the um, shimmer paint on there and because it's the copper on the Mary Merlot, look, it matches the ribbon perfectly. And hop over to my website after you're done watching this because the still photos, maybe you'll be able to see it better. But seriously, it's, it's the same. See, there's the non-copper side, but here it's the same. It's very, very, very pretty. I'm gonna tie that around after I'm done. And I'm gonna give one more squirt after I'm done painting, but I'm gonna let that sit aside and dry. So then I'm gonna take my image and use the Memento ink. You could use stays on if you have the old um, black classic pad, you could use that. I just like Memento. It's my go-to favorite. I have about 15 of the pads, so they last forever. Oh, goodness. I need the Happy Thanksgiving. And it's stamped on my sample. But I don't see where I laid it. Well, I'm going to um, cut this out with the Big Shot, so I'll do that first. Maybe when I move my Big Shot and I stand up, I'll see my Happy Thanksgiving because I literally just made the other card, but you know how we um, stampers are famous for losing stuff right in front of their face. I just have the square die. And if you're in a country that doesn't have Thanksgiving, so if you're not in Canada or you're not here, um, there's a, another saying in the set um, and it does fit on top of this as well. So you could put the other saying or you could go with the oval and do the oval. Well, maybe my stamp is with the other top of my Big Shot thing because it's not laying here either. This is the magnetic platform. Well, seriously, you know, when you just make a card, you don't think that you can lose all of your pieces. Oh, well, this is because I've laid it on top of this. So at least I haven't lost everything. We do this at camp. Except, you know, when you're at camp and you lose something, you have somebody sitting right there to tell you it's right in front of your face. Roll that through. I did pack up one of my other cards. Maybe I put it in with the wrong bucket. So I've got that. And then one of the other things that matches this is look at this pretty, pretty paper. This comes in one of the Christmas sets. And this leaf is in the annual catalog and it comes in the set that's got like the Adirondack chair you know it's got two chairs it's got a um, Adirondack chair that is the um, in the die set and then it has a stamp but it's got like year round it's got um, snowflakes and leaves it's a year round little die set so I'm gonna just trim just what I need out of this because you don't need to waste it so you don't need to cut like a square that on my magnetic platform and this new glimmer paper none of the glitter falls off and it's um, a lighter coating on the back so it cuts perfectly through with one pass and put this on my magnetic platform and I know you're all getting a big kick out of me cutting them on one that says no cutting um, and I was going to take I think probably if I squirt my little um hand sanitizer on here just don't, like on my acrylic blocks it would probably take that off so you see on this one it's got um 
a bunch of different holes and on these I don't like to pop them all out like I pop some of them out so I'm gonna leave that there just for a second and see if anywhere I see my happy Thanksgiving so maybe this isn't gonna be a Thanksgiving card let me see if I put it back in the case no because it's on a block I haven't taken it off the block let me look over here here we go Top of it. I did cut this out before, before I stamped it, so I'm still in the right order. Because then you're able to kind of gauge how high up you want the Happy Thanksgiving. Um, and I'm going to add this leaf kind of to the top corner here, so I want to leave a little bit of space up there. There we go. And this I'm not going to use, but if you want to stamp, like when I put it on the um, buffalo check, you shake this up, you hear it has a little um, a little ball, like a paintball thing, you know, if you buy spray paint. And so then you would take the lid off, and I will do another card that does this, and you can see it's kind of messy because then you <coughs> put this in here and dab it on to your stamp, and that's how you would stamp, and that's why I have this sitting here, even though I changed the technique halfway through. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I'm going <coughs> to watercolor this. And I use my blocks because these, with this, you can just rinse off at the sink. So I've got three shades of brown. I've got the Sahara sand. And I just take these on here. If I was doing this at class, I would take my, um, or if I was doing a lot of them at home, I would take my Sharpie and I would write like Sahara sand. And usually I do it on the bottom and then you know you can so you have sand written here and you know where to scribble but then if you're doing it at class or at a shoebox swap everybody knows that's where it is and then if they go to scribble they can scribble the same color on it Use this to so I'm just gonna lightly color this doesn't need a ton of color on it Just going for a little bit of a country look. I really wanted to kind of keep my pumpkins, um, kind of like Australian pumpkins or the more fancy pumpkins that we didn't ever used to have white pumpkins here. But in the last 10 or so years, now you can buy them in the States. But the white um, or like the creamy vanilla kind of pumpkins, and I just wanted to have a hint of the Merlot. That was the look I was going for. But the pumpkins just got lost. So I did end up there mostly pumpkin with the pumpkin um, ink colored. But I did get a little bit of the... So that was the Sahara Sand. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the... Uh, what was the color? Suede. To the darker bits of wood. And I'm just kind of coloring over with the suede where the lines are. The shading lines are on the actual wagon. Because you know Stampin' Up! does, the artists do the work for you. So if you don't feel like you know where to shade, that's okay. Just let them tell you where to shade. And then I'm going to take the espresso and color my wheel just ever so lightly. You don't want a whole lot of ink because this is such a dainty little stamp. If you put too much color on it, it'll just cover it up. But I want my wheel to be a little bit different of a shade than the wagon. There we go. And this is just our blender pen. And when you change colors, just squidgy it off over here. And I've already got, this is um, moss, mossy meadow. And I've still got some here from the last time I colored. And again, I'm just going to, where the artist put the grass on here, I'm going to use up the ink that I touch. And then as it runs out, instead of squidging off on the scrap paper, I'm just going to like kind of squidgy the green so the light parts of the grass aren't like 
invisible on here. Does that make sense? So see the dark is darker and then as it runs out I just kind of clean my pen off and it gives ever so slight a green. There's two little rocks there. You can see this is a really economical way to color because it doesn't take hardly any ink. And if you would color just on top of this with the markers, it would be an overwhelming amount of ink. Even with the blends on this dainty of an image, I think would be too much. So I'm gonna go back and get a tiny bit of the brown and color in those rocks. And again, I'm just gonna use up that brown that's on there and kind of fill up that. Get rid of that. And then I've got the Mary Merlot. And right now, if you already own all of the markers from past years, this is Pumpkin Pie and Mary Merlot. And then I just am going to add a tiny, tiny bit of the Mango Melody. But if you already own the markers from the past, then you can go in the catalog and you can get the, um, the new marker refills. And that is just the colors that were brand new introduced this year which is nice because this will be the only year you're able to do it. So make sure you don't let the whole year go. And then next year when the new catalog goes out, comes out, go, oh, I never got the Mary Merlot marker because you need to get that now. Because you can't buy the markers individually. You can buy them in color families, but if you already have most of them. So there I've added the um, Mary Merlot to kind of where the shading lines were. And I'm gonna add some pumpkin. The, see, they were too red before. I really wanted them to be the vanilla kind of pumpkins, but it wasn't working. And I didn't want frosty pumpkins because as much as we like the frost to be on the pumpkins, it's too early in the season for frosty pumpkins. It's 100 degrees close out today. There's no frost on these pumpkins. And this is Thanksgiving. You know, when it's Thanksgiving, it's too early for frost on the pumpkins. And then we're just gonna take a little hint of the mango and just kind of put it where the pumpkins meet just so it kind of gives some highlight to them. And then I'm gonna get a little bit more of the espresso just ever so slightly for their little tops. There we go. So you can see that's a really dainty little design. And then I'm going to take it back over to my scrap paper. I'm almost done with this card. When you see it finished, it's going to look like it took a really long time. And I'm, you want this far away because the farther you get it, the more of a mist you get. And on this, I don't want it to be a blob. And you don't want water because the water would just make it wet and the alcohol will dry quickly. This one's already dry. So they're nice and shimmery. Try to aim it so you can see it in the, the light. So now we just have to stick it all together. Get this out of the way. And when you have this, you want to kind of look um, where it looks, it where it spritz the prettiest. So I like the spritz on this side. So that's gonna be the part that doesn't get covered up by the, the design. I'll take this beautiful ribbon. And put it over here. This is another one of the cards my girls will be making on Thursday night. And it's also one of the ones, I had to do all the ones first that the girls who are gonna be doing it with us, but not here, the ones that will be participating Facebook Live. Um, so they had to know what stamps, I had to know what stamp sets they had, and then I designed these cards first so I could send them all their paper today. So they have the stamp sets and then I sent all of the stuff to make it. So these got done first. I'm just gonna tie a bow here. And with this ribbon, because it's um, um, copper only on the one side, it took me a second when I did it 
I made the first one to get the copper to the bow to be copper on top. So hopefully I'm a little bit better at it now. So you get the copper here and then you want to make sure as you see this is not copper. So fold this over. Excuse me, my water's over at my computer. And then kind of twist this through so when you pull it through, you can see the copper coming. That was what I did not do the other time. So I had to kind of twist it back so the copper was showing. to keep pulling it and you don't want to pull it tight till you know that the, your loopies are the copper side. There we go. Yesterday I just pulled it too tight before it was copper. Perfect. And I really need my snips because these scissors don't, I see my ribbon scissors over there, so I might hop up and go get those. These cut the ends all shreddy. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I hope you can see. I know it's prettier in real life. And maybe it might be a little bit prettier in the still pictures. I, don't, I just can't see if it's capturing, capturing the shimmer. this down and I am going to put my adhesive right up next to the ribbon so it doesn't move on there. And then because this did get wet, I mean it's not like wet wet, but just enough that it curled, make sure you get adhesive down on the edges of the card. I love the buffalo check. This is maybe the fourth card that I've made with it. Um, it's so nice to not have to buy background paper because you can have checked background and you know what the one I made flannel. And my daughter, you know, is a golfer. And so all you have to do is put in like golfer pastel plaid and the patterns that you will come up with will inspire you. All of the pinks and the pastels. So I've stuck that there and then I'm going to take this and I haven't taken it out yet because I don't want all of the pieces to fall out. I want some of them to fall out but not all of them. So I'm going to start with taking the stem out because some of them usually naturally fall out. No, oh, not all of them did that time. So I'm just going to poke a few. I mean you could leave it all um, but I do want a couple of them to fall out. So you just poke a random few out. And it will make every card be different because everybody will poke a few. This will have a, a couple of different ones than my other card did. And then when you go to adhere it, you'll want to make sure that you put adhesive all over the back of this. Otherwise, they'll just continue to fall out. See, but it's nice that you can see through part of it. But then you do want to make sure that you get... Adhesive on it. There you go. Isn't that not pretty and simple? And hopefully you're catching the glitter on it and the shimmery effect. Hopefully I didn't move it so fast it was blurry. Here's my other one. I'm gonna go back when I'm finished with this and hit the pumpkins a little bit more. They do need a, a tiny bit more bit of color. You can see on this one they're a little bit more colored. They just need a little bit more orange, I think, added. But that's a really fun card. Super, super pretty um, ribbon. The copper at elements of it all added together. None of this stuff goes together. The pheasants don't have a die. Um, the copper paper is part of a Christmas suite. It may go with the ribbon. But the buffalo check, I think, maybe is 
part of the farmhouse suite. I wish I could have the catalog here so I could look it all up, but we're not allowed to show you the inside yet, so I don't want to have it here and then be flipping through it. But there you go. Get ready for, it's not in view, get ready for September 5th when you can all order. Um, and if you have a giant wish list, then order now and get some $5 stocked up because you can order $50 now and you'll be able to get $5 in bonus bucks. So when there's lots of um, things that you can order, remember if you order um, on my website right now, you're getting free ink pads if you use the host code. So do that. And one day this week, I'm still going to try to get a Facebook Live where I just show you product. I'm not going to make anything, but I will have like whole sheets of the designer series paper. I'll have all of the different colors of the shimmer paint. I'll have all of the ribbons. I'll have stuff to show you, not the project. So you'll be able to see the other colors that come in the glimmer paper, the other colors of shimmer paint, all that fun stuff. And some of the stuff that I'm not going to be able to use this week on the products, projects. So there you go. Until next time, have a nice night. Bye.